Hey, 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 all right, all right, all right. It is Transformation Tuesday. Normally I do this on Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday, but my Wednesday was looking a little bit crazy. So I just decided, you know what? I already know what I wanna do. I'll just do it now, it's all good. And um, this is a real treat. Um, it is lasagna soup. And the funny story about this lasagna soup is I had a client for months who was telling me, well, she still is a client, but anyway, um, Andrea, she kept telling me, this lasagna soup is so good, you really need to try it. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. And when I first looked at it, um, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And the reason why is because of the last step. So in order for me to do the last step, I'll just put the video down in the comments because it will kind of require a second part. But basically, the last step of it is, um, after it simmers for 30 minutes, then you scoop out individual servings. You put some ricotta in there and some mozzarella and um, Parmesan, and you put it in the oven on broil for like five minutes or however long it takes to brown the cheese. And for some reason, that I just had kind of a mental block on that. And I was like, that's just too much trouble. I'm not gonna do that, you know? But then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try this because she keeps raving about it. And it, it's really not that big of a deal. And it is amazing comfort food. Truly, this lasagna soup is. You will not be disappointed. So let me tell you, tell you or show you how simple this recipe is. Um, you're, and I, I went ahead and doubled this recipe because um, we're a family of three. Now this is four servings, I think, yes, it is four, four servings, um, but since our son is almost, he's 19, almost 20, he definitely eats more than one serving. So I like having leftovers, so I typically will make more than one serving. So this is two servings. So we start out with, we have, um, 10 ounces of uh, cooked ground sirloin. Of course, I double it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff into um, the sauce pot, the cook pot. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the ground beef. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the fire. All right. And so now it's real simple because since I've already cooked the ground meat and I've already prepped the vegetables, this goes super, super fast. And I know right now, in, if we're in Southeast Texas, you're thinking, I don't know if I want a hot soup because it's kind of warm today. It's like 70 degrees and muggy, but it's still comfort food and the cold weather's coming. Like what, Sunday, Monday, something like that. I don't know. So anyway, so now we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth, which I already have done here, and a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to do two teaspoons of garlic, so I have not measured that out yet, so let me do that real quick. garlic all right and then we're gonna do four cans of the um, diced Italian tomatoes so we're gonna put those in all right and then six cups of zucchini or squash or both I did both because why not have some variety right I mean that's got to be good all good Gonna add that in slowly. So now you just have this lovely pot of veggies and meat and deliciousness. So delicious. And all you're gonna do is simmer it for 30 minutes on a um, 
Oh, I, I would say low to medium heat. Between the low and medium setting, you could probably even go down to low with the gas cooktop like what I have. And, um, and then what I'll do is I will show you when it's done after 30 minutes. I'll video that part where I add in the ricotta and the mozzarella and the parmesan. And then I pop it in the oven at, um, at broiling, basically. Um, but it's super, super easy, super, super delicious. And um, I hope you're enjoying this weather today. I hope you were rooting for the Tampa Bay Bucks Sunday. And if not, I'm so sorry, Kansas City Chiefs. My husband is a big, was a big Chief fan on Sunday just because of my homes. But, um, oh well, that didn't turn out so well. So um, anyway, you see how easy this is? It doesn't take long at all and um, super, super nutritious. And um, you can have leftovers too, which is always awesome. So take care and I'll be back on in about half an hour and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okie dokie. So I've checked my pot and it's been on for about 30 minutes and the zucchini and squash are um, cooked. So I'm gonna turn off the heat now. And again, I did eight servings in here. The recipe is just four servings. So ideally what you would do is you would get out four oven proof bowls. Okay, I'm just gonna do one for simplicity's sake here. But if I was feeding four people with the, you know, just making the one pot of lasagna soup, I would get out the four bowls and just divide it four ways into servings. I'll do my best just to eyeball this into the bowl. And let me tell you, it is very filling. Okay, so here's the soup. And then I'm gonna take a quarter cup of the ricotta cheese, okay? And I'm gonna put it in, into the bowl just like so, hopefully you can see that. All right, and then I'm gonna take a tablespoon of the Parmesan cheese. I always grate my own Parmesan. I don't buy um, stuff that's already been done. It just seems so much fresher this way. Um, you sprinkle it on top, and then take um, an ounce of your mozzarella, and you're gonna sprinkle that on top. All right. So here is the soup before I put it into the oven on broil. Now, for those of you who have cooked on broil before, do not leave the, onion, the oven for long because uh, you could wind up with a burnt mess. So it'll cook pretty quick. So I'll take a picture of it when it comes out and it is beautiful and lovely and it tastes so good. And Matthew's already so happy because he saw what I'm cooking. Talk to you later, bye.